Hey, welcome back to Nice Ball Cards. Jake Roy here. So I have a product today that really brings me back to the beginning and my origins of collecting. Uh, I don't know everything that's in this, so we're gonna kind of open it up. It's a little bit of a mystery that we're gonna unravel together. So this will be fun. And again, this really kind of some of the way that I started collecting. So it really brings me back to the beginning of it all. So let's get right into it. So here we've got kind of a random assortment of packs. So this is a mystery box, uh, you know, really similar to stuff that you would find in a lot of retail outlets, you know, clamshells. Sometimes you find them in kind of like two bunches of random cards and random packs. Uh, you know, I remember fondly going to Ames and Walmart and getting stuff very similar to this. And, you know, you'd see whatever was on the front of it. You didn't know what was behind it. So, you know, in all reality, I was hoping that, you know, I would get something like a Topps Chrome or a Topps Finest pack buried inside. Maybe something else would be really exciting. Uh, you know, something more exciting than what you saw on the front. Um, and I really enjoy that. That's, that's how I started collecting. I opened a lot of single packs rather than boxes that way. There was a hobby shop near me that I'd get some other stuff occasionally. But this was really uh, where it all began for me. Um, and it was kind of like a double mystery for me. So this is why it's gonna be fun and why I wanted to get this product to share with you. Not only was it a mystery of what would be in the packs, but it was a mystery of what packs I was gonna be getting. Uh, like I said, you can kind of tell and sometimes I'd get pretty good at looking through the sides and seeing what type of style the pack was to maybe know what packs were in there to pick the best ones that I thought I had the best chance of getting some fire in. Uh, so I saw this and I thought this would be a great thing to share and knowing that I saw some of the 9394 Series 1 of Fleer Ultra, I knew that those would be pretty good packs. It looks like there's probably two packs. I believe they're jumbos. Series 1, we're looking at Scoring Kings. That's really the fire. I know we've talked a lot on this channel about the 1993-94 Jordan Scoring Kings, so hopefully we see one of those in here. You know, those ones are very condition sensitive. Getting one pack fresh would be very nice. You know, you're looking at $100, but if you can get a PSA 10, those cards can go up in upwards of $1,000. So I would love to see us get a nice fire pull like that, but there's also other great ones like Jordan, uh, all defensive team that is a jumbo pack exclusive. Uh, so that's about a $50 card depending on condition there. You know, it might be a little bit more. We could also get a scoring Kings of Shaq or some other great players. But then the other packs in here, you know, I can't tell if this messaging on the front is accurate, but it looks like there might be a World Cup pack in here. So we could get some soccer cards from the 90s. There might be a hockey pack. Um, I can definitely see the majority of it's basketball, but it's gonna be a mystery to open up together and uh, we'll bustle all the packs and hope we get some fire. So let's get right into it. All right, so here we've got the box. You can see it's not in the greatest shape. It doesn't look like any of the packs are damaged. Interesting, a little marker price tag of $25. I'm guessing that's from a yard sale or something. That's not what I paid for it. I got it for a better deal than that, luckily. Uh, so let's get right in with some scissors. All right, that was easier than I had expected. <laughs> All right, the jumbo pack, two jumbo packs of 93, 94 Stadium Club. Nice, so get some baseball. The rookies from Donruss 1992, that's one jumbo pack. These were advertised on the front, 93, 94 Upper Deck. We got two packs there of retail. Nice, a Series 1 Jumbo Pack of 93 and 84 Fleer, Penny's Rookie Year. Here's what we're really looking for, the Jumbo Packs of 93 and 94 Series 1 Ultra. Another uh, Jumbo of the Donruss Rookies, so hey, hopefully there's something good in 92. These were advertised on the front, the USA Packs, 94, we've opened those before. There's the World Cup pack, so one of those. Not sure what we can get in there. And a jumbo pack of the Hockey 93 94 Pinnacle. All right. All right, so no big surprises with the packs, uh, but you know, it's all from 1983, so can't expect too much. We're gonna start here with the Upper Deck World Cup. Again, I have no idea what we can pull in here. I'm not even gonna try to say all the names, but you know, if any names jump out, I'll say them. 
or you can drop it down in the comments and say I missed something. Alright. Looks like a Brazilian player, maybe. World Cup USA Brazil. Nice. My wife will like that. Another Brazil. Mark Watson from Canada. I can say that name. Mexico. Sean Doyle, USA player. Mexico. Nice one with a headbutt. And is that the last one? Yep, that's the last one. All right, don't think we had any fire there, but cool to get a couple Brazilians. Give me that hockey pack. Let's see. Mario Mew, right? Patrick Wall, our cousin. <laughs> Uncle Pat! Uncle Pat! <laughs> Did I call the shot? Is that Mario Lemieux on the back? We'll get there. A John Coleman from the World Junior Championships. Uh, more Junior Championships. He's gonna be junior championship. Oh. It's going U.S. Canada, U.S. Canada. Nah. Tampa Bay Lightning captains. Here's just your regular stuff. Keith Brown, Mike Ramsey. Tom Fitzgerald. Yeah, so don't don't really know a whole lot about hockey from when we were young little tots, Jake. No. Oh, we did get a Ray Bork. Hey, okay. I know he's who good. he is, yeah. but he's also because he's local. Another local guy, Don Sweeney. Don't know who he is. Jim Peake, Mark Sullivan, Uni. And there's your Mario Lomio. Scoring games are 160 in the jumbo. All right, so Ray Bork and Mari Mario Lemieux. So, there's the fire for hockey fans. <laughs> All right, the rookies, 92. I know that there are a lot of Derek Jeter rookie cards in 1993. I don't think there's gonna be anything like that, uh, but I don't know who the good rookies are in 92. So, I don't know if this will be all rookies or what, but 30 cards. Let's buckle up for baseball. Julio, William, Johnny Ruffin. Reed, Patterson, Raul Mondesi, he was a big name back in the day, Tony Mendez, Pete Young, nice little checklist, everybody's friend, Whitman, another Julio, That's something a little different, Phenoms of Brian Jordan, he was good with the Cardinals. Jeff Kent, another big name from the San Francisco days. Tom Goodwin. Doug Davis, Mark Clark. I love that small early 90s cards, right? There's a Jeter, but it's Sean. <laughs> I was uh, like, what? Taurus, trying to do a match. Garcia. Yep, I'm not recognizing any of these names. There's another, <laughs> another Brian Jordan. Sure. All right, that must have been a rare card. Neil, Paul Miller, Mike Williams, Paul Wagner. Not a single name that I recognized. So. All right, 93 Fleer basketball. We can get some Clyde Drexler specific inserts in here. There'll be a Jordan here. Robert Pack. One for one, Jake, I feel good. Sam Bowie, the not Michael Jordan. Reggie Lewis, rest in peace. Nate McMillan, 
There's an all NBA award winner, Charles Barkley as a subset. Dominic Wilkins, there we go, on the right track here. Bryant Stith, BJ Armstrong, league leader. David Robinson, there we go, getting some stars, I like it. Johnny Stockton, Dale Ellis, Eric Murdoch, Ron Anderson, going the wrong way. Purvis Ellison, Ron Harper, Steve Smith with the Heat, Anthony Bonner, We've got Danny Ainge, the GM, Mark Bryant, Greg Anthony, Cole's dad, Vernon Maxwell, Lionel Simmons, not sticking in, Isaiah Thomas, the first Isaiah Thomas, another Ron Harper, Jimmy Jackson, Isaiah, Mills. just getting disrespected. Sorry, like he did with the Dream Team. Alonzo Mourning. I'll Jake, put him in the stars. Pooh are, Richardson. Are you just treating this like the Dream Team all over again? <laughs> yes, yes. With just Isaiah, no respect, <laughs> Thomas. Yep. That's okay. how we're doing it. That's I mean, that's fine. This. I'm a Bulls fan, so this works for me. Yeah. Is this a portrait? No. Nope. Is this a portrait? Oh boy, this is gonna get old. Steve Smith, Dominique Wilkins, Thunder Dan. Team card. Team. Larry Johnson, another Neek. Mark Price, another Grandmama. Shaquille, and Derek Holm. DC, all right, the other USA pack. All right, Magic, nice, tribute. Mark. Price, we got another Derek Coleman, Joe Dumars, something on the back. Ah, uh, yes, I always get the checklist, it's beautiful. Larry Johnson, there's our gold Mark Price. Where's yeah. that? Another team card, it's just a parallel. No, oh, that, uh, you literally got a, a card that is for international basketball yeah. rules. Yeah, just so you know what's going on in FIBA, you know. There's Isaiah Thomas with the other team. Why don't you disrespect him again? Sean Kemp. Reggie Miller. And there's your boy Rod Strickland. Mm -hmm. There's center court celebrations. Interesting. Mark Jackson doing the wiggle. We got Brad Doherty. There's your Danny Ainge, there's a Thunder Dan, there's Stevie Kerr, Jamal Mashburn, David Wood, Jamal another Mashburn's rookie. Sam Bowie, Sean Kemp, nice. our boy Judd, Judd Butchla, Carl Herrera. Okay, well. I do, I do yeah. love these foil packs. We haven't opened any of these in a while. They're nice, except when they actually tear. Like those corners can be a little tough to get. All right, you're right. Horace Grant, there we go. They got better already. <laughs> Oh, the Oak, Charles Oakley, Kevin Willis, Bobby Hurley, Tragedy, Lindsey Hunter, Rookie, Subset, Jerry Reynolds, Rookie of Mark, uh, Malcolm McKee, Dennis Rodman, cool, love those with the Mohawk dyed, uh, Mike Brown, got a Christian Leitner, everybody loves Chris, Doug Smith, and Lafonso Ellis. We got Chris Weber. Rookie. New wave. Sean Kemp. Rookie. Luther Wright. Eddie Johnson. Tim Perry. Charles Barkley. Frequent Flyers. Carl Malone. Scotty Pippen. Flyers. Dennis Rodman. Flyer. Checklist. I got it this time. Is that an insert? No. Nah. Okay. Frequent flyer points, D Brown. Yep. You got Avery Johnson and Bobby Hurley, rookie on the back. And Ronnie Cycli with Danny Manning, because every card is sticking. Andrew Lane. We got a bunch of cards here. 
Jerry something or Rick Fox, Steve Smith, Billy Owens, and Lindsay Hunters. Nothing too crazy. Okay. All right, frequent flyer Clarence Weatherspoon, frequent flyer David Robinson, Terry Cummings, got a rookie there, Kevin Duckworth, Jamal Mashburn rookie, another Jamal Mashburn rookie, nice, <laughs> it's a subset rookie. Oh, drop the Howard Workman, got another checklist. I'm just getting all the checklists today. Oh, there we go. Beam Team, Jamal Mashburn, rookie. Not bad at yeah, all. You got a Beam Team. That's pretty yeah. cool. That is really cool. Bryant Stiff, Todd Day, Luke Longley with the T-Wolves. If I can get it unstuck. There we go. AC Earl. We got a Derek Harper. Terrell Brandon. Otis Thorpe. Sean Rooks. Dead Leg Shrimp, Patrick Ewing. There's one Jordan scoring keys, is that too much to ask? Yep. Oh. We got Rick Fox, Doug Edwards rookie. I got another Carl Herrera. <laughs> Bill Lambeer, Finn Baker rookie. Cool. I think I see some stuck cards. Uh, Donald Hodges. Let's, let's hope it's the insert I'm hoping for. Okay. Danny Ferry. Bill Cartwright with a watch his name on the back. Just leave it. Guess and so. Is it? Oh, Charles Smith, you are correct. Is it, is it a Malone Auto? <laughs> I With how much sticking? Hold on. With how much sticking, it has to be an auto. Oof. No auto, okay. It's, yeah, also like that, that bottom, the both bottom corners. Yeah. So here you go. Go ahead and just look at how mangled that thing is. I don't want to. It's depressing. <laughs> Oliver Miller. Steve Smith. Wow, I'm getting some stuff cards. Blue Edwards, we got Patrick Ewing. There's your boy Bobby Hurley rookie. Sean Kemp. You're getting all the Kemp's. Clifford Robertson, Tom Googs, and Jay Humphrey. All right, last pack. Scoring Kings. We hit some fire already, but nothing too big yet. I want a big blaze. All right, Sherman Douglas. That is Danny Farrell, I think. Uh, Sam Cassell, rookie. Chris Gatling. Joe Dumars. Alfonso Ellis. We've got another Derek Harper. Brad Daugherty. We've got a Corey Blount, rookie. Steph Stad. Hey, an insert of John Stockton. Ooh, that be nice. And what is that? Is that the All NBA team? Okay. Maybe we'll get another one. Uh, John Starks, Mark <laughs> West, George Lynch. Maybe the last four cards will just be all four scoring kings. Yeah, maybe. Lee Mayberry, Anthony Mason, Kevin Johnson. Derek McKee. Rod Strickland. we got a Buck Johnson and Jeff Malone. The other one. All right, so you guys saw the fun there. Uh, you know, so we beat the odds, which I was pretty surprised by. Uh, the beam team here was really the best thing that we got. This was one in 15 packs. The scoring teams would have also been the same odds in the uh, ultra packs. So, or they were one in 16 actually for the scoring kings in, in those jumbo ultras. So, um, you know, really happy to get this. This was uh, Jamal Mashburn's rookie year. I know Jamal Mashburn was a big player at that point in time. You know, Penny Hardaway was also in this set. So. They had some of the star players from that rookie class in that set. Uh, you know, you heard me. I was hoping that this Carl Malone highlights. We've talked about this in the other Ultra Packs we've opened 
hoping this was an autograph. Those are very rare, very hard to pull. Uh, you know, but in 13 packs, getting four inserts, you know, the All-NBA team, you know, not a lot of value in any of these, but uh, that was cool pull to pull. And, you know, we've opened some 94 Skybox before, even more packs than just the two we had here, and haven't pulled any gold. So getting a gold with Mark Price, that was pretty cool. Uh, you know, Mark Price was a player that I really liked as a kid, actually. He's a, he's a great scorer. Um, you know, so that's, that's what we got. And, you know, these were a lot of fun for me as a kid. Like I said, the mystery of not knowing every pack that was in there, you could get surprised with some great packs. I know my brother and I had some great luck, uh, you know, getting some metal packs at times. My brother actually, I fondly remember in 1998 going to, um, you know, our local store that we would get these packs that was called Ames, or as my father and us used to like to joke, we called it Ames's. <laughs> so some of you might remember having an Ames store and the company's out of business now, but, um, he actually was scouring through the packs a little bit before I did and found a 1998-99 Topps Chrome pack. And in that pack, he pulled a Vince Carter Instant Impact. And that was Vince Carter's rookie year. Vin Sandy was going crazy. He was a big Vince Carter fan. That pack pull didn't help, didn't hurt that at all. So, uh, you know, we had a lot of fun. So question of the day for you is, have you also done similar things with retail packs? I know, um, you know, I talked about those kind of clamshell packs, but even Target and Walmart have had other different boxes of packs and stuff. Um, so drop down in the comments if that's anything that you've enjoyed collecting. I know even still Fairfield will do some stuff at Target. Um, you know, I tend to shy away from those, but you know, gen genuinely my origins as a collector, as a kid, really did start with those retail packs and those random offerings of, of cards. And that's how I started to build a lot of stuff in my collection. That's how I got some of the fire in my collection that really kind of helped me continue on as a collector. Not necessarily the best way to collect, uh, but definitely a fun way to collect for me. So drop that down in the comments if you've had similar experiences and maybe some of the fun retail pulls that you've had in some of those random assortments of packs. I'd love to hear either a pack that you got surprised by or a pull in one of those packs. So drop that down in the comments. As always, thanks for dropping by and watching this video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any videos in the future. New openings like this will drop on Wednesdays. Any bonus content will be on Fridays. If you're looking to watch another video, there should be a button right about here. You can hit that, take you to another video, and we'll talk later. Thanks.